heavy. Bored. So oh, we didn't even get to Berryman, do we? No shit, dude. Fuck. <laughs> oh. So that was the inspiration, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You were the first one to notice too. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, that's crazy. No, like when when I fucking read that poem the first time. I felt like I got punched in the throat like and then I heard him read it and when I heard him read it it like I was like kicked in the balls punched in the teeth the whole fucking thing like when he just fucking like he's so angry oh yeah and he's like like I'm heavy bored and just like the emphasis he puts on it it's just like fuck man yeah dude fuck yeah, yeah. I am dude I'm fucking tired of reading shit i don't want to read because someone told me i had to fucking read it like like the whole fucking thing dude i'm just like <laughs> literature and then, like, bores me especially great literature yeah i'm just like <laughs> fuck, dude but then yeah. you have to get into the whole thing like um what's the fucking dude's name in it uh the henry. two the two other characters henry and um, mr bones mr bones yeah dude. Uh. it's like then i have to decide like am i really okay with this and i only have um the first 77 in a book like i don't have the complete um do you think the complete is a better read uh i think the complete is clearly the best most innovative work of poetry we've had since i don't think anybody's come close to doing what he did and actually succeeded in doing okay clearly drove himself crazy doing it um i think joyce did this as well with his last couple books you know ulysses and finnegan's wake i think yeah. you can tell these guys were so obsessed with doing something different changing the way we think about the format the way we think about the sonnet form in Berryman's case you know the form of the novel in Joyce's case and even Joyce the way we structure sentences you know yeah. <laughs> like the way he was fucking with that but like I think the fact that this guy yeah nothing's come close I'll just leave it like nothing has come close that is the most innovative book of poetry and maybe that's when the death started but like where people were just not how do you top that how do you top what Berryman did with that book? Like, and people were pissed about it, right? Like he won the yeah. Pulitzer that year. People were pissed that he won the Pulitzer. And it's like, yeah, because you didn't understand what he did, dude. Like read it out loud to yourself. Like this guy, like changed the fucking game forever. And he's shit on now, again, usually for identitarian reasons, you know, like the trend right now. Yeah. Uh, some type of appropriation or something is usually uh, because he uses... Uh, I guess we'd call like black English or like, uh, you know, vernacular. Well, isn't like Mr. Bones, like a minstrel character. Yeah. Kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's what they hit it with. Yeah. That's what they hit it yeah. with. But if you read it, you know, I try to read it in a more positive light that it's a celebration of this beautiful sound, English speaking sound, yeah. you know, which I, you know, I don't know what his motivations were for it. I think he probably loved the sound of it too, because it is, beautiful like in a way and if you can harness that you know some some do it great yeah. <laughs> some like them, yeah. i i see him as like a fucking mad scientist yeah you yeah. know and like i have a lot of respect for people who are that fucking crazy i don't i don't know how to make that not sound shitty but like he was so intense about his fucking shit yeah that like i don't know how anyone could like have a hard time with it or argue the validity of anything that he fucking did when he was that fucking just intense about it yeah you know like that's I think it, it drove that's him an artist. i think that's what killed him yeah i think it yeah. killed him like and there is something to that and i know some of your a lot of your listeners probably know this like when you're putting everything into a work of art that you're working on, that obsession, like. Inner. Resources. American resources. Being bored. Some activities are not intentional, right? It shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Bored. I, I aspire to boredom, I should say. Bored. Has United Sweats and the Day Sweats, pal? Pal, I do.